Protests started last year over police brutality, but intensified this weekend after President Trump said any NFL player who kneels during the anthem should be fired. This afternoon, the president once again said the kneeling was disrespectful, but now the protest making its way to high school students. Members of a California high school marching band protested during their own rendition of the national anthem at last night's Oakland Athletics game. That has us asking, what are the rules for high schools in our area? Area. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes has been reaching out to school districts all day. Tanya, what are they saying about this? So it's interesting because we reached out to just about every district in our area and just about everyone said the same thing. It is perfectly legal for the kids to do so. So districts, even CMS said, if your child wants to take a knee, they can't stop them. Whether it was a silent response to the deafening words from the president. To say, get that son of a off the field or joining the actions of a lone quarterback scores of players are now taking a knee to take a stand and while it's causing a visceral reaction for those in the stands it's prompting a chain reaction on the field for players of all ages even eight-year-olds are kneeling freedom of speech is something that's pretty broadly accepted by our countries who we are as Americans. It turns out if more young players on football fields across the Carolinas want to demonstrate, there's little public schools can do to stop them. The Supreme Court is pretty clear that they can't be eliminating students' right to freedom of expression. Silent protest, something that's been protected by the Supreme Court since the 60s. We checked with some of the local school districts. Seven responded, and not a single one of them has a policy banning kids from this form of expression. So if kids want to kneel at school, no one will stand in their way. But attorney Missy Owen says that doesn't mean there won't be consequences. I think what we are likely to see is discrimination. Will this be interpreted by coaches and teachers and principals as something that makes them very unhappy, that's caused problems for them, and will it be, will they retaliate in other ways against these students? So we did learn that there is one possible exception, and that could be the safety of our children. So if a school district or an adult feels there's a circumstance where a child's safety is in jeopardy, then they could decide to alter that form of expression to protect that kid's well-being. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. And we know for the adult athletes who participate, it's cost some of them consequences too, endorsements and contracts. Sure. Tanya, thank you for your reporting. Tonight we continue.